Welcome to the channel and this deep dive into Pandenting AI, a powerful Python agent framework designed to simplify the development of production-grade applications with generative AI. In this video, we will explore various aspects of uh, Pandenting AI, including installation, usage, and advanced features. One of the standout features of Pandenting AI is its a seamless integration with GitHub allowing developers to manage their projects efficiently and collaborate effectively. This integration um, enhances vision's control and streamlines uh, the development workflow, making it easier to contribute to open source projects or maintain your own applications. Pydentic AI aims to replicate the user-friendly experience of fast API in the realm of generative AI. The framework is a mo uh, model agnostic, supporting various large language models like OpenAI, Anthropic, and Gemini, while emphasizing type safety and structural responses va uh, validation using Pydentic's uh, robust features. This makes it easier to developers to build complex applications while adhering to best practices in Python development. To install Pydentic AI, simply use pip install Pydentic AI. This command installs the core packages alongside with its dependencies. If you are working with a specific model and want to minimize unnecessary installations, you can opt for the slim version pip install Pydentic AI slim OpenAI. For those interested in utilizing um, uh, Pydenting log, uh, log fire for enhanced debugging and monitoring capabilities, you can install it alongside Pydenting AI, pip install uh, Pydenting AI log fire. This integration allows you to monitor agent performance effectively. It can help if you are encouraged issues uh, or have uh, questions while using Pydenting AI. The documentation provides a comprehensive help resources. You can find detailed guides on uh, common problems, usage examples, and community support options. Engaging with the community through forms or, or GitHub can also beneficial uh, can be also beneficial for troubleshooting and le uh, learning best practices. Now let's talk about the contributing. Pydenting AI is an open source project welcoming contributions from developers, whether you want to report a box, uh, su suggest features or improve documentation, uh, your input is valuable. Check out the contribution guidelines on the official site to get started. Now let's talk about the documentation, okay, and especially about the agents now. So the core component of Pydenting LAI is its agent system. Agents are designed to interact with LLMs and can be customized for various tasks. You can define an agent by specifying the model it should use and providing a system prompt that guides its responses. So for example, uh, you know, let's go and see see this particular one here on the front okay this snippet demonstrates how easily it is to set up a, a basic agents that communicates with llm okay so i highly encourage you guys to go through uh, uh, to this uh, to those um, code snippets okay and try to to test it yourself okay i think that's very helpful from them to show you you know those in um, how you can use it you know all the informations you know additional configurations usage limits everything has been provided so i think it's a good uh, documentations provided by the uh, by the creators of Pydentic AI. Now let's move into the models. Pydentic AI supports multiple models through a, a unified interface. This flexibility allows developers to switch between different LLMs uh, seamlessly without altering the, uh, their code base significantly. Each model comes with specific dependencies that can be managed using the slim installation options discussed earlier. Again, a full documentation is available here. Okay, guys, API key, arguments, everything is there, okay, uh, for Gemini, everything, install configurations, everything is there, I'll be leaving the link to the, to the Pydentic um, uh, .dev anyway, so you can go and check it yourself. Dependencies, the framework incorporates a novel dependency injection uh, system that enhances modularity and testability in applications by defining dependencies explicitly. You can easily manage data flow within your agents and ensure type safety throughout the applications. Pydentic AI enables the creation of function tools that agents can invoke during their operation. This feature allows agents to perform complex tasks by calling external functions while maintaining structured responses validated by Pydentic. Results 
The results returned by agents are validated against predefined schemas, ensuring that the data structure meets expected formats. This validation process uh, helps prevent routine errors, uh, runtime errors, and enhances uh, reliability in applications. Messages and chat history by identity AI keeps track of messages uh, and chat history, allowing, uh, allowing developers to create uh, conversational agents that remember previous interactions. This feature is crucial for applications requiring context-aware responses. Testing and evaluation Testing is integral to developing robust applications. By Denting AI provides tools for unit testing agents and evaluating their performance against the defined metrics. This capability ensures that your agents behave as expected under various scenarios. Debugging and monitoring. For effective debugging and monitoring, PyDenting integrates with a log fire, providing insights into the agent's performance and behavior during execution. Setting up log fire involves configuring it with, uh, within your project to capture relevant logs. You can import it by using import log fire, okay, logfire.configure. Uh, that's the one which you can use to actually go ahead and start with it. This integration allows you to visualize agents actively and troubleshoot issues effect, uh, efficiently. Let's go now through some of the um, examples. The documentation includes a variety of examples here on their website, showcasing different uh, different use cases for Pydentic. So we can definitely do something uh, about it using these uh, documentations. We can go through the weather agents, for example, and uh, a simple agent that retrieves weather information. Uh, then we can move into the bank support, an agent designed for customer support in banking. Very interesting one. Uh, SQL uh, generation, an example demonstrating how to generate SQL queries uh, dynamically. That's, I think that's the really interesting. I think, guys, you would like to go to this piece of code. It's it's very, very interesting. And also, uh, you can go and you can chat with it, with uh, with fast API. Here, when you go to this tab here, you definitely can do that. A complete example integrating a Pydentic AI with a fast API for real-time chat applications. And there are many, many more resources here available on their website. Okay, you can do API references. Uh, you can do API references for AI tools, AI agents, and re results, messages, tons of tons of information, guys. I highly encourage you to go and check this one out. I will be leaving the uh, link below. So, uh, like, I think uh, as a final word is like Pydentic AI is a powerful tool for developers looking forward to leverage generative AI in their applications. Uh, with its focus on type safety, structure validation, um, uh, seamless GitHub integration and ease of use, uh, it stands out as a leading framework in this space. Uh, be sure to explore and uh, the extensive documentation available at Pydentic AI documentations, which I'm just showing you guys now. And for more details uh, on each feature as uh, discussed in this video, as I said, everything can be found here. Very, very um, uh, robust um, uh, uh, you know, documentations. You can find pretty much everything. Uh, if you struggle on the stage, as, uh, as mentioned previously, you can always go to, uh, to the guys and ask them directly under this Getting Help tab. Okay, so guys, I think that's all what I want to cover in this video. If you like it, please hit the like button. Any questions, leave them down below. And thank you very much for watching.